Good evening, everyone. This is Walter Cronkite speaking to you from CBS Television Election Headquarters here in New York City. CBS were convinced that to win the lion's share of the election night audience, what they needed was a Univac computer in studio to forecast the result. Turn to that miracle of the modern age, the electronic brain Univac and uh, Charles Collingwood. This is the face of a Univac. A Univac is a fabulous electronic machine which we have borrowed to help us uh, predict this election from the basis of the early returns as they come in. Univac is going to try to predict the winner for us just as early as we can possibly get the returns in. For the first time, a computer was about to predict the outcome of an election. But first of all, let me tell you a little bit about the theory of this. This is not a joke or a trick. It's an experiment. We think it's going to work. We don't know. We hope it'll work. At any rate, for the last... At 8 o'clock, Collingwood asked Univac to type out its prediction. Can you tell us uh, what your prediction is now on the basis of the returns that we've had so far? Have you got a prediction for us, Univac? I don't know. I think that Univac is probably an honest machine, a good deal more honest than a lot of commentators who are working, and he doesn't think he's got a, enough to tell us anything about yet. But we'll be back with him later in the evening. Now back to Walter What Trump. Collingwood didn't know was that Univac did have something to say, and this was it. Just before CBS went on the air, Univac predicted Eisenhower would beat Stevenson by a landslide. The problem was, no one believed it. The machine turned out this answer that they didn't believe. The polls were telling them that it was going to be about a 50-50 election, and we were telling them it's a landslide with only 5% of the vote. And they couldn't believe that you could predict the thing as accurately as we did, which was in a few percent, with only 5% of the vote. So everybody was thrown into total confusion. Uh, the Republic. Excuse me. The McCarthy... Uh, uh, but the confusion wouldn't last long. Votes were now pouring in for Eisenhower. Even before all the polls closed, it was clear that Univac had been right all along. General Eisenhower was winning by the largest landslide in the nation's history. After midnight, CBS confessed to the public what had happened. You saw, as the prediction, as more votes came in, the odds came back, and it was obviously evident that we should have had nerve enough to believe the machine in the first place. It was right. We were wrong. Next year, we'll believe it. The next day, the headline said it all. The whole world had taken notice of Univac.